thought Jerry was driving you home. I had him turn around. I couldn't leave you here alone with Petey. Pete, whatever. Trent, Cortland. He's gone. I, I told him I was sick, which I am since he figured out we ran over Richie. I'm freaking out, too. Dre, um, I want to tell his dad. What? I mean, Mr. Woods is a lawyer. He could help us. Yes, we had a deal. No one can know what we did. Oh, what have you done, Colby? What is it, Colby? What have you done? You know how Cass and I start college in the fall? Well, there's a seminar. Wines of the world. You know, wine tasting. Yeah, it's like the most popular class, and except you have to be 21 to take it. So we came up with this idea to email the professor. And since I lived in Paris, we told him we knew all about vineyards and yada yada yada. Bottom line, he totally busted us. He didn't reported us to the freshman dean. She let us off the hook, but I'd die if anyone found out. Oh, yes. I hope you're not mad. That is a fascinating story. Now, can I have the true one? I just told you. Mm hmm. You got a reprimand from your dean. Mm -hmm. She was really, really upset for, at first. But she let us off the hook. Well, I have been a benefactor of the uh, university for quite a long time. And uh, now that my daughter is enrolled, well, I'm even more involved. Just the other day, I talked to uh, the freshman dean, Dean Fisher. Dean Harold Fisher. Wait. Who, unless I miss my mark, is a man. Oh, no, no, no. It, 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 it wasn't the dean. It was our advisor. Duh. <laughs> Duh. Girls, if you've done anything wrong, tell me. I can help you. What is it? Colby, maybe we should... I... I won't get angry, I promise. I give you my word. Okay. On my birthday, I got a little drunk. Actually, it, it was more than a little. And that's why we came home early from the lodge. I didn't want you to know because I thought you'd ground me and, and take away my car. Your car? Were you driving under the influence? No. No, Dre took us home, and he was totally sober. Well, Dre, Dre was there. Well, I, I thought it was just the two of you and another, uh, another girl. Yeah, that was totally my fault. I kind of invited him as a surprise. But he was barely there that long. So the car had very little to do with it. What do you mean? Well, it's a brand new car. If it, if it was uh, damaged in any way. There's not. Hmm. Well. Why don't I take a look? Just try it out and see. It, it was an accident. We didn't mean to kill him. At the lodge, I had too much to drink. So, Cass and Dre got me into my car. Dre was driving? Mm-hmm. But we were going along fine. And then we hit something, and we're not sure, but we think it was Richie Novak. Daddy, we didn't see him, I swear. We just felt this really big bump. Dre wanted to go back, but but I was so sick. And, and we just thought it was like a tree branch or some kind of animal. Or, we had no idea. And until we heard that Richie got run over that night on the same road. God. Daddy. What you have done, you girls, is very brave. You told me the truth. That was the thing to do. But what if the cops find out? Uh, one thing at a time. <laughs> um, Colby, sweetheart, could I talk to you for just a moment in private? Be right back. Jake, what am I going to do? Throw your buddies under the bus. You want me to narc on my friends? No way. Sweetheart, this is serious. A man is dead. I know that. Then let me protect you. Not if it means Cass and Dre take the fall. All right, you were drunk. How drunk? Dad, very. Th very good. Then you were too inebriated to know, to know to remember the ride. What? No, I do. Do you want to go to prison? No. 
But I won't lie. And I won't rat out my friends. We're in this together. But you'd have sacrificed everything for a couple of strangers. They're my friends. If you had any, you might understand what loyalty means. Hey, what happened? No go. You didn't... Wise choice. Not telling your father about the hidden room. You told him? Well, we both did. We agreed not to tell him. Yeah, I thought you were telling yours. He, he can help us. All right, where did you go after you left Novak? Nowhere. You didn't stop anywhere? A diner? A gas station? Side of the road, couple minutes. I had to throw up. We got some bottled water at a gas station. Did you pay for a credit card? No. Cash. Good. And then we just came straight back here. Has anyone used the car since that night? No, but someone else knows. They saw the blood on my car. Who? Petey Cortland. Oh, that twerp. He's not going to be any trouble. Okay, I have some more calls to make. Uh, all of you, stay here. Be quiet. What do we do now? Nothing. It's out of our hands. Look, I need a few more details about what happened that night. Okay, but, but not right now, Dad. Oh, sure. Uh, just relax. Everything's under control. Just trust me. All right, come on, you guys. Let's go upstairs. Everything's going to be just fine. Barry, Barry, uh, uh, Adam here. Listen, that new car I got for um, Colby, I want you to make it disappear. No, no I mean disappear, gone, vanished. Nada. Gotcha. Uh, yes, this is Adam Chandler here. I would like to report a stolen car. Um, it was in the garage and now it's gone. <laughs>